Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and we're going to do a beer review today. Okay, this one's by Breckenridge Brewery and they're from uh, Colorado. This is their vanilla porter. This is what the bottle looks like. Here's what the cap looks like. And, um, I've never had this before. I've seen it before, but I've never had it. I've never had any beers from this brewery. It says roasted malts with notes of vanilla. Comes in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Ale brewed with real vanilla beans with natural flavor. And uh, Breckenridge Brewery, Littleton, Colorado, and Fort Collins, Colorado. So um, let's get it crack open and see what we got here. I got this at Total Wine and More for like two bucks out the door as a single. little light on the ABV but you never know sometimes you can still get some good flavor out of a lighter ABV beer I'm not sure what these go for in a six pack I didn't look I thought I'd just go for a single so I can see if I like it first. Yeah, glass is a little cold. But um, that's because the beer was warm when I got it, so I put it in the freezer for a little bit. Okay, let's warm that up a little bit. Get some heat up on it. Okay. So, we have a big, frothy, creamy, slightly silky looking head that's uh, like a little off white, like tan almost, like a really light, light, light tan color head. And uh, we have a like a brown a really dark copper color looking beer that's clear pretty nice looking color or mahogany looking color as you can see it's got some red hues in there so I've got some bubbles uh, streaming up from the bottom Pretty dark. Looks like a porter. Feel that light. Can't really see much through it. Get a little more heat on this puppy. I only had it in the freezer for like a half hour and it's cold. Okay. Oh yeah, it's got an enjoy by date of uh, June twenty, June fifteenth of uh, twenty twenty. So this is pretty fresh. Probably um, they give it a six month or a five month shelf life, so it's either a month or two months old. So it's pretty pretty good, fresh. Well, I mean, it's probably um, about three months old, so it's before it's best by date by a couple months. Last train home. Man, I got cold quick. Okay. 
Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Okay. It's pretty faint. It might be a little bit on the cold side still. Just gonna warm it up a little more here. Okay, I am getting some like a uh, little bit of slight vanilla and a little very slight kind of cocoa. Maybe a little bit of some dark fruits in there. Yeah, maybe a slight roasted malt note. Very faint though. But it does have a sweet kind of a malty note to it. A little bit of dark fruits. Warm it up a little more, see if we can get the aroma to come up a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the, um, um, I'm definitely getting the, um, vanilla and some roasted malts, but I'm also getting a slight kind of a cocoa and dark fruit note. So let's get a hit. Cheers. Okay, the taste follows the aroma. Pretty good. Got a medium mouth feel. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Um. It's kind of bland. It's got those notes I, I mentioned, just a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of roasted malts, a little bit of um, cocoa. Not really picking up a whole lot of anything else. Very slight uh, dark fruits. It's a little thin and watery, to be honest. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, might be because it's a lighter ABV, you know, 5.4%. That's pretty light. You're not going to get a whole lot of character with the beer that light. But sometimes I've I've had some beers that had some good character and flavor, even at a lighter ABB, but this really isn't one of them so far. I mean, this would be a, a good porter to drink if you're really like thirsty on a hot day, or if you're like, um, you're gonna do a session with some beers. It's leaving a little bit of lacing on the glass there. I mean, there's nothing foul foul tasted about it or smelling it's just real thin and watery and the taste notes are light yeah there's just not a whole lot of flavor what flavor is there is just not a whole lot of it and that's about the only way I can describe it well that's pretty much what I got on this puppy I might as well finish it here with you Yeah, the malts are really light. Um, the vanilla is really light, and the 
dark fruits are really light. Everything's just really light. It's very watery. Yeah, it's just all right. Uh, I wouldn't buy this again personally. Nah, I've had lagers better than this. All right, well, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Vanilla Porter by Breckenridge Brewery. Um, on a scale of um, one to five, two and a half B and C, just average. I'm going to give this puppy um, probably like a 2.8. It's not all that, but you never know until you try it, right? So 2.8 it is, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe if you already haven't, I'd much appreciate that. And y'all have a good day and we'll catch you later. See ya.